Hi, my name is Ibrahim Alikama. Welcome. This is free CCNA 200 301 course. This course is made to help you pass your CCNA exam. With the hands on experience you will learn from this course, that will make you stand out in the IT field. This is a great certification that will open a lot of doors, a lot of job opportunities for you. And with this certification, it will make a great difference in your life, in your career too. So let's start from the basic of this course. What is network? From Wikipedia, I'm paraphrasing quote upon on unquote, Network is a digital telecommunication which allows nodes to share resources. With that definition, we need to break it down. Well, for me, when you talk about network, just like a something, you see where the, you connect devices to share data, to share information, or to share pack. In this, we have a lot of stuff that would be going on having a devices the, the nodes are like the devices we are talking of the router the switch the firewall the ISP providers a lot of stuff will be going on on the background now let's start with the network devices for example now I have a home network so but for this home network to to operate I have some devices now let's check our devices devices like switches so for you the new learner example switches example of switch we have this example cisco switch 2960 catalyst switch this is a switch this is a switch this switch forward frames it forward frames within a land within a land example like a, my home network with this switch it will forward traffic packet frames from within the same building within here within my home the switch is doing that as we can see the switch have different it have a lot of interfaces you can see it has a lot of interfaces so it's only it's only there to like for land doing your land within here i can able to forward frames from one host to another host within a land so if we are talking about nodes as you are talking about nodes or device network devices this is one of Cis, uh, cisco network device which is a switch a great device for forwarding informations within the same land so we think of another cisco device or node which is a router with this router you can able to do some you can able to connect two lands let me say you have one land at home another land at at your office you want to connect two different lands you can able to use this router cisco router 1900 series router to connect two lands you have one land another land you want to connect the two you use this cisco router as you can see cisco router don't have many interfaces these are some of its characteristics it's there to connect to do interconnection between two lands and at the same time it only have few interface nodes like like the switch the one of the character one of the characteristic of a switch you can see that the differences between the router and the switch also you can see that the switch have a lot of interfaces on it it has a lot of interfaces on it while the router only have few interfaces on it and the router is there to route packet or to connect two lands guys take note of that the router is there to connect two lands why the switch this switch here is there to forward traffic within the same land i hope you have got get that the switch the switch is there to forward traffic within the same land while this router here is there to connect the land the two lands together it helps us to communicate outside with this router so we have another cisco networking device here the firewall yes 
a small firewall asa 50 it's a small firewall but like presently most of we have some we have recent firewall like the like next generation firewall firepower these are wonderful firewalls but this for the sake of learning i just want to show you this firewall we need it so like let's say the purpose of all this now example like this firewall because today we are talking about the devices the, the use of those devices when you see asa 5505 you know that this is a cisco firewall the purpose of this this protect it protects our networks it protects our network it save us from man or man in the middle attack someone wants to attack your network with the help of this cisco firewall it will protect the network from being interfered or from being attacked by someone so like as we also said like the important the use of the router also as i was saying router is there to route packet between two lands wherein you have one land at home you have another land at office you want to route packet between your land at home and your land at at, at your office you need a router to route through the internet yes so as we are saying also though the difference is that when you see a router you will know that router only have few interfaces it only have few interfaces and when you see switch the switch have many interfaces like 24 port and above 48 port a lot of interfaces in the switch only difference these are some of the differences to dictate that oh this is a switch oh that one is a router so this also the purpose of this it's only to forward frames within the same land which don't forward frame outside only routers do so now i'm i've already set up a slide let's check out the slide as i was saying according to wikipedia a computer network is a digital telecommunication network which allow nodes to share resources on a network, network do their job by moving data from one device to another device. Network is about having device, different devices connecting together and making network work. For example, of a simple network, two pieces connected together with a cable and a particular cable. This is a network because they share resources together. This is an example of an enterprise network the head office and the branch office. Within, within the head office, we have different devices, the switch, the router, the firewall with the host pieces, all connected to the switch. So this, within this head office, this is a LAN, it's a, it's a network or a LAN. Because now, from here, we have different, different devices that are interconnected so that they can able to communicate outside to their branch office. So as you can see, this one can able to send traffic or send packet from here, from the head office to the branch office, through from PC1 to switch, to the switch, from the switch to the router, from the router to the power, from the power to the internet, from the internet to this power, from the power to the router, from the router to the switch, from the switch to switch one. As I explained earlier, we now know what is the switch, the purpose of the switch, the functions of the switch, how switch work, how routers work. So this is a network within here. This is a network. So functions of network devices. As you can see, you can this symbol represent a switch in Cisco Packet Tracer. We, I will show you how to install the Cisco Packet Tracer because we are going to use it for our labs. Switch. Switch are layer two areas. They forward traffic within the same LAN. As we well, have demonstrated earlier, switches they only forward traffic within their own LAN, within the same LAN. They don't, they don't wrap packets. Switches have many port interfaces. You can see here, switches have a lot of interfaces. Switches forward broadcast traffic. The forward broadcast traffic, all ports on a switch by default are in the same broadcast domain VLAN 1. 
Yes, you can see all these codes are in VLAN 1. So you will know more about that. What is VLAN, how to create VLAN, how to assign VLAN to, to different, different interfaces. And you know all those things. Then this router is a router. This is a symbol of a router in Cisco Packet Tracer. So this also is a symbol of a firewall in Cisco Packet Tracer. Router, routers send traffic from one network to another network. Routers are layer three aware the route traffic between networks. Routers have few port interfaces, but support many types of interfaces. As you can see, the router here have few interfaces, but they support, they support many different types. For example, routers support serial port interfaces, while switches don't. Come to routers, provide connectivities, connectivities between LAN over the internet. Routers make it possible for you to be able to route your packet to communicate from the head office to the branch office. Switches, there are two switches, don't. Like, come to the firewall, firewall monitors and control the network. Firewall protect the network from man in the middle attack. If someone just come in and trying to hack your formation, try to bridge the network from two firewall to the control, the commands you will, you will apply to that firewall will protect your network from being attacked by man in the middle. Firewall can be placed inside or outside the network. Also, you can see from the misopology, the firewall here is presently outside, outside the network. But if we want to put the firewall inside the network, we need to place it here, not here, not here. We put it here, here. This is inside. These ones are outside the outside the network, and they are all outside the network. So please, guys, this is a free CCNE 200-301 complete course. This course is to help you pass your CCNE exam with the hands or lab experience it will make you stand out in the IT job. This is the best qualification to do if you want to break in the IT world. Generally speaking, this course will make you learn a lot about how computer network operates. I am so excited that I'm going to help you pass your CCNA exam. It's going to make a great difference in your career and your life. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on the notification so you don't miss any lectures in the course.